So if there are two things you can absolutely count on in your lifetime, it's one, death, and two, that I'm gonna be up at 1 a.m. having the urge to design, like literally. I've been defeated a few times with these Formula One posters. Some of you guys enjoy, some of you guys gave incredibly great critiques and I appreciate it because I, you know, this is not my realm, more about the branding identity realm. So manipulation and like putting assets together is not my favorite thing ever, but I have been learning and having a lot of fun and I want to challenge myself even further. So what I have in my Photoshop today is a bunch of assets. These are just general ideas that I thought would be good basically car in the front road in the bottom that's like broken some sort of fence behind that car then a bridge behind that car and then max verstappen's big old face behind all that just saying if you see some really cool assets out and about in this video just know do not forget to check out the everything pack if you guys do not know what it is all 28 of my custom made products that you get on that one purchase plus all future products free first things first obviously i'm gonna grab this car so i'm gonna plop this guy like here and let's drag this road down below so i have you know no real idea where i want to put it but i do like that and this is where i'm going to try to make sure i place this so that they're like is a little more texture right so if i put it down here we're hiding a lot of this cool orange that's going on here so i want to put it like right here maybe something like this after i have this here let's go ahead and drag in the this you like this cutout by the way i was it was not fun anyway let's say something like this makes some sense to us and we go ahead and take this now the road and fill this back in just like so and now it feels well, pretty damn good we're gonna take this bridge make it pretty big and then i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i cut out the bottom of this because it does have some foilage that i don't want uh for the for the most part i think that little bit can stick but something like this makes sense okay and then last but not least the photo of max i don't have maybe it'll be this one that makes the most sense for us now i don't want it to be like a crazy big photo but i want it to kind of feel like it's there and we're getting somewhere my thought process of why i chose this as my road okay was to basically just make it look like something's on fire or there's some sort of like foreground atmosphere or like something happening in the foreground that makes you know the depth what should i do let's let's start with like a little bit of let's start with like a let's and i'm gonna take this and just make this a little bit darker i'm not entirely sure how maybe something like this and then i'll go ahead and possibly go back into this with like a nice soft brush i would get nice and close to this wall and sort of just make it a little bit more sort of you know lighter because there's going to be some light hitting it now obviously the next thing i want to tackle is possibly this bridge so we're going to hop in really quick to camera raw filter a little bit of texture as well to get that the sharpness up while also increasing the sharpness i feel like that looks yeah, decent i might lower the like exposure here but i wonder what else i should be doing like there's not like a light coming out so is this where i then like say to myself should i just produce a light from this like flooring like generally i've never done this so let me just i'm gonna try to like do something like this and then let's just say we do a uh, control enter to enter into the like marquee selection and what i'll do is with a nice opacity brush something like this I'm just gonna kind of say, you know, does it make sense to do something like this? And I'll use a bunch of different tones, right? So this is just with that light. Let's make another new layer, right? And then we'll use like a nice, like a reddish tone here to add some reds in here. Get a little bit more of that in there. I might use it like a linear dodge add as well. Let's go again with another new layer. I'm just gonna, we're gonna keep adding until we get a color that kind of pops out. Let's say it's like right over it like this. I would argue color dodge looks pretty good over linear dodge add. So let's try color dodge. It feels decent, not good, but again, you got you gotta try to let me cook this is one of those things where i don't know what i'm doing but if there's one thing you can count on is i have an eye for just things so now i gotta do is just do it on the other one right here and we might have something going for ourselves i might just take the whole entire thing and just rotate it and that kind of fits pretty perfectly i feel like this back wall now though will probably need even more lighting okay so let's go for this one more time and this part right here right this transition like quite literally this line right here it's kind of pissing me off so i'm wondering if i need to kind of get into this like under the uh, barrier layer and do a nice simple little black line right under this i feel like it's necessary so let's try that am i tripping or is that like smart i'm gonna do one more thing like this right so my thought process maybe i do have it connected instead and i'll do a nice layer right below it obviously since the light is shining pretty heavily here i won't do it there so I'll skip that, go back over here and just add this nice shadow. Okay, so that looks good. And then this one right here, I'm just gonna do a little bit of glow on it. So let's just do something like this. Click a few times in these areas, right? 
and then just use a linear dodge add to make sure that thing is glowing. So the car is, this is obviously a problem. So let's ground this thing too. So I'm gonna use the same exact idea. So black, I'm gonna go ahead and say, maybe not a 100% harness brush, something like this. Bang, okay, Sesso shadow brushes. Now I was gonna say, do I wanna do something like this where it's just a shadow like that? And then of course, like over here and, and whatnot, or do I wanna do this where I kinda, you know, figure out some kind of way for this to kind of sit here. I don't know how to do this very well, but pure black, then a little bit of a Gaussian blur, not a crazy amount, and then kind of do this instead. Like it feels decent, but doesn't feel like perfect. What if I just lower the opacity like a lot more? And then for this layer below this, maybe I'll then just try to do more just like placement shadows on my own. Should I get someone who like really knows shadow work or like, like a, just a really good sports poster guy ask them to teach me and then like we line up we kind of learn together that'd be kind of fire because there's one thing i know that i can kind of guess but i have no idea how to do shadows i kind of just hope and pray and i wonder if that's like the universal thought we're gonna tr we're just gonna start adding shadows everywhere that's what it low-key feels like like do do you guys actually consider where you're putting them? probably why am i of course you do or should i do like a curves even maybe as well and then clip mask this so we're gonna go in here and paint the curves back in right only where the shadow is hitting either way let's try a levels this time for the highlights and we're gonna bring the highlights pretty far up clip mask this again tearing it off with control backspace to quick fill everything into white and then with my nice white brush we're gonna go to all of the highlights and paint these guys back in okay with without I feel like something's happening there. Is this okay or is it? I feel like everything right now is just a tiny bit too dark. I wonder if I should keep it like that. And when I put like an overlay, like a smoke, like this one over here, right? Not yet, but like when I do something like this or even like this and we do it on linear dodge add, it's gonna bring the shadow light back up in that pass. I just don't know if it's like, if it's gonna be problematic and we're gonna, we're gonna kind of roll with it for now, but it's it's in the back of my mind for sure. I like that you can see a little peak here, but his helmet is definitely touching too much. Give it enough head space, right? But enough clearance on his chin, or does it feel like it was just hiding behind? Something like that feels pretty nice. Now I feel like what would really help me too in setting is a background. Naturally, this photo back here did have a background. I don't wanna use this one. Mm or do I? Now, I don't want to use this one in particular. I can probably find like a nice dark cloud one. But let me see if I can find that real quick. But I think that feeling could be the best. Let's say the background's like this. And honest to God, the blue and orange, you get it. Blue and orange looks fire. I think it's the best color. Actually, is blue and orange the best color on the planet? Absolutely, but I'm really curious. Do you agree? Dark blue is cool and all, but I think it needs to be a lighter tealish tone. I mean, yeah, that feels that feels nice. I know you guys are doing a lot of things. Probably telling me you should do this, you should do that. I get it. What I do know immediately that I will do for us is do a little solid color action. Let's clip mask it to this, or maybe we'll use like this tone instead. Reverse this, little lowered opacity action again, and we're gonna get in here and paint until our until we can't paint no more. And I'm just kind of say to myself, where is the light gonna hit most? And I think definitely there, it's gonna definitely hit down here, right? So I wanna add as much light as possible. I know I added this color here, but now I'm gonna add another new layer, or maybe just another color filter is fine. Ooh, maybe I should have added more. That looks pretty good. Little color dodge. I mean, whoops, but like works. Should I like erase around in some areas and add some more, right? But I think what I wanna do with the actual duplicate, let's make it a little more yellowish tone, something like so. Now I'm gonna get back into here and we're gonna do a nice little rim light for this and hopefully it just makes it all make more sense now immediately in my head while i'm finishing this i am saying this yellow tone is a little bit too yellow but i'll end up doing okay is i'll go back into this color filter color picker go down here and just make sure i choose a nicer tone that makes a little more sense and then i'm curious if i want to do a filter blur gaussian blur and i feel like that looks pretty good now all in all it's progress but also let's fix this for a second this is going to tilt me if i don't fix this i'll do a nice little shift edge and then maybe like a little bit of contrast to help Ooh, shift is going to get rid of my stuff uh oh i really feel like these cut lines can make or break a project so it is a thousand percent worth it to correct yourself when you do see this feel like the difference is going to be pretty massive and after that task 
I would say it's pretty worth it. However, I do wish these lines weren't so white and like awkward. Can AI help me here? Now this is me trying to be adaptive, right? Up with the times. Let's say bridge connect lines but i just don't like the fact that you just see this awkward white it's so noticeable oh god let's try again bridge wires okay without wasting your time ai dish did not work the other worst case scenario is i might have to just take the like a brush and just do black lines over it i don't want to I haven't even done like any of the rocks i am screwed honestly i don't like this either because there's a reason well there's obviously a reason it's just that the red or excuse me the white is still there unless i like duplicate maybe it's just like still noticeable like literally just this now that I look at this photo these wires just look fake i was set up for failure from the very beginning okay can we ignore that for now so what i'm thinking is let's start adding a little bit of detail whether if it's detail or just maybe i need a little bit of typography something to get me out of looking at assets and start looking at some of this you know the goods like a nice little formula one. Oh, could the formula one be behind him i mean that looks pretty good right it's not like adding a bunch if i'm being very honest but i can do a little bit of overlay lower this opacity a little bit i definitely want to put it in a corner for sure somewhere still but i'm wondering if that little that little texture in the sky helps me out a little bit i don't think it needs this i think this texture might be too crazy maybe i just i'm itching for texture let's go ahead and say what did i get in this for i have no idea i was thinking about doing some like wheel stuff now that i think about it this might be way over me like how do you even how do you even do it would there actually be smoke here like or like would it also be on this one as well right and then something like this if it makes sense and then it goes behind into this wheel back here so it'd be like another duplicate like so for a second, for instance, you know, it would like hit right here. Doesn't feel right. I think it's doable, but that's just not the asset. So what I found is this. Now what I'm considering is maybe if we do like a green action, right? What I'm trying to do here is find like, if the wind is like flowing this way, it should sort of be around the tire like this. And the top half of this should sort of be like over here. Here. Let's see if I can get it. Smart object for the win, by the way, when, you, when you're doing warp, for the record. If you don't use that, you're tripping if you're warping. I wonder if it's this way or if it's like this way instead. You know, something like this? I feel like that could be something. Now, there, I, have do, I do have more flames. There's one like here that I think could be kind of sick that can sort of feel like a drift of some sort. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's, it's, oh my God, I don't want to, I'm so scared of doing this. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I have major anxiety even trying this right now. Like I have major anxiety, not because of you guys. I love you guys. You guys, no need too long to have anxiety around you guys. It's literally just my skill. But if there's anything that I know that I preach, I should probably practice it. If is if you're terrified of it, that means you're learning. Ooh, this perspective looks, that feels dope. No, yo. Am I doing something? What I'm gonna try to do is angle this. It's already kind of angled the right way too. I think this side can have a little flame like this. Blend if could be a vibe for this. Or at least that wheel over there. That looks really good, kind of. But it's also not bad. So what if I were to add a little bit of light to this now too? So naturally fire, light. Uh, let's go ahead and say a linear dodge add. Let's say a lowered opacity. And let's just click. Anyway, just something like this could be nice here. So I think this makes sense. I might, I, I feel like I'm overcooking. I really do feel like I'm overcooking. I absolutely feel like I do need to add a little bit of a lighter tone over here. So I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a regular brush, not a color fill and create a nice rim light on this as well. But now since there's so much fire, the ground should not be nearly that dark. So now can I go over here finally and like start adding light somehow? It kind of becomes a question of like, like it feels like it's going fast or it wants to go fast, but it's not. So I'm wondering if this smoke could be a plus in helping us kind of draw some more speed to this. Smoke was clutch. That is a play. It feels like it's going a little faster now. Now I do have these rocks. Let's say this is kind of like this, right? And I'll just bunch of, make a bunch of duplicates of it. And I want it to kind of feel as if the, ra the ground, excuse me, around is getting broken up, right? So I want to get as many of these rocks in as possible without it feeling like we're just duplicating the same rock over and over and over again. The background though, I think is starting to be a problem get rid of this for a second and this looks pretty decent why mm, not sure or if you even agree but i like if we just pretended for a second if this was like darker you know what i mean it kind of helps the bottom looks okay the top looks 
miserable. I haven't even added a color correction to this guy yet. Do the typical uh, clarity, texture, all that good stuff. You know, that feels decent. It feels decent. Now I'm looking for like white clouds, but not for the reason why you probably think. And with this white cloud, okay, I'm going to toss it behind, but then I just want to see if I can kind of get rid of the blue. I feel like I need a little bit of offset dump somewhere, right? So I feel like that looks pretty good. The cloud, by the way, if you kind of want to play with clouds, this blend if is so OP. If you look like right here, you get so little detail here, but you move this to the right a little bit, so much more detail and I enjoy it uh, a lot more. I'm just trying to figure out if I can put flames maybe in the background here i mean this is kind of cool let me put this below it for a second i'll put on exclusion though for this part maybe that feels nice maybe i should try to do like a little bit of a lighter tone background maybe i just need some kind of like i think i'm looking for like depth right so what if i try to do a little bit of like a nice hit of color does this help me it does wait you know what i need to do just for my hold on let's go ahead and get his name in there i'm also gonna change this logo to the same white tone for the record i think it looked really nice do i now still do is there what's the question oh Wait, Jay, play that back. I didn't know what I was moving, but I moved it and I got rid of the background. I kind of like that look. Now, regardless, what I was going to say is, should I try to play with a little bit of the offset? I feel like I always do something in the middle. It'd be kind of sick to do something like this. You know what I mean? I feel like that's pretty cool, but I kind of don't want to do like a regular, just centered thing. Like, I feel like I do center all the time. I gotta, I gotta push myself and this is a way to do it. I have been looking at this for so long. Is this decent? Also, should there be a fence here? Okay, hold on have a fence asset. I did this strictly for the Formula One fans. So allow me to say, should I put the fencing back in? Oh my God, this might be such a minuscule thing, but in my heart, it needs to happen. I feel like it would help with the transition a little bit. Wait a second. I, the excitement is starting to hit. It probably shouldn't though, because I probably made so many mistakes that you guys are going to point out. But to me, it's somewhere. In my very humble opinion, this is decent. The number of uno goal was to make sure I added enough stuff to say I felt like I did something. And so with that, I'm going to call, I'm going to call it. Maybe I, I got to do a series where I go back to all of my other designs and spend like an hour each on them again to see if I can make it even better. But I hope that you guys feel like it looks, it looks good. It looks decent. I wanted to try fire. I tried it. I hate fire with a burning passion. Like I, I always hated flames. So it was scary for me. I think we did something with it. Again, there's probably so many things that are wrong with it. Past that I try to do as many highlights and shadows as I possibly could, for at least the car section. I try to ground things. So. That's all, I, that just not, that's all I got, please, okay? So hopefully it was cool. You learned something, you had some fun watching me struggle. But as always, I never really know what the end goal is for these. I just kind of freestyle and have some fun with it. And hopefully I create something that you guys can just enjoy watching. So yeah, with that being said, if you guys enjoy watching the video, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. But that is me, Seso HQ out. You're gonna keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking in front of guys. Little much love. Peace. And don't forget the everything pack. Love you guys. And uh, yeah, that's all I got.